everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I want to read this November. So the first book on my TBR. Now granted, I don't know what order I'm going to read these in. It'll probably depend on my mood, um, but these are definitely all the books that I want to read in November. Um, the first one is The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. Um, so I've heard really, really good things about this series in general. Um, don't quote me on it, but I believe it is YA. Um, and I came across it a couple years ago. Um, and then I think I bought it last year to put on my shelf. So it's just high time that I start reading this series. Um, cause she has another book that just came out that I really want to get to, but I want to read this series first before I jump into her new one. Um, so let me read the synopsis. Times are hard in the mountain city of Felsmarch. Reformed thief Han Alistair will do almost anything to eke out a living for himself, his mother, his and his sister, Marie. Ironically, the only thing of value he has is something he can't sell. For as long as Han can remember, he's worn thick silver cuffs engraved with runes. They're clearly magic. As he grows, they grow, and he's never been able to get them off. Han's life gets even harder after he takes a powerful amulet from Mika Bayar. I can never pronounce um, fantasy names or anything like that. So, um, the son of the high wizard, the amulet once belonged to the demon king, the wizard who nearly destroyed the world a millennium ago. With a magical piece so powerful at stake, the bears will stop at nothing to reclaim it from Han. Meanwhile, Reza... Anna Mariana, Princess Heir of the Fells, has her own battles to fight. Although Reza will become eligible for marriage after her 16th name day, she isn't looking forward to trading in her common sense for a prince with a big castle and a tiny brain. Reza aspires to be like Hanalea, the legendary warrior queen who killed the Demon King and saved the world. But it seems that her mother has other plans for her, plans that include a suitor who goes against everything the queendom stands for. The Seven Realms will tremble when the lives of Han and Reza collide in the stunning page turner from best-selling author Sina Williams, China. So this has got everything I want. I'm assuming there might be a little love connection between Reza and Han. Um, just kind of thinking of like all YAs usually have some type of love connection. So I'm hoping it's got that. It's got magic, it's got adventure, so I'm really looking forward to picking up this series and seeing what this author is all about. The next book on my TBR is none other than The Hobbit from, um, oh gosh, Tolkien, J.R. Tolkien. I about forgot who wrote The Hobbit. That's so bad. <laughs> but anyway, I haven't read this since eighth grade. That was the first time I had to read it. And I read it in an elective class in eighth grade. And oh my gosh, I love this book. So it's high time for me to pick it back up and get back into the Tolkien world. And this is just gonna stem into um, my first time read, I know, can you imagine? Lord of the Rings series by J.R. Tolkien. So, yeah, I've seen the movies, but I've never read the books. I tried once in high school, but I think it was an old English edition. And I just, I couldn't get through it. So, hoping the editions that I bought, I'll be able to get through it. But The Hobbit is going to be my start on that journey. So, I'm very excited. The next book on my TBR is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This is, so I'm doing kind of like a world of Sanderson read. I've already read his Mistborn series and I watched a video where they recommend the order of the Cosmere for you to read so you can get the most out of it. So that's what I'm doing. 
So they said after you read Mistborn Era 1, you go into Elantris. Um, there was a short story that I read in between this. Um, I think it was the 11th medal, but it wasn't the Mistborn mystery or history or something. That I think comes later. Um, so next on the list on, for Brandon Sanderson is Elantris. So the capital of Aralon is, it was home to people transformed into magic using demigods by the Shiode. But then the magic failed. Elantra started to rot, and its inhabitants became powerless wrecks. In the new capital, K, close enough to Elantra to remind everyone what they have lost, a princess arrives ready to seal a political alliance with a wedding and unite Teod and Arlon against religious imperialists. But Raiden, her husband-to-be, is dead. Still determined to fight for Teod and Arlon's freedom, Sarin clashes with the high priest, Harith. Harith. But secrets remain in Elantris. The dead and the ruined may yet have a role to play in this new world because magic still lives. I, I don't, I can't say anything other than this just sounds phenomenal. And I, so far, everything that I've read by Brandon Sanderson, I really love. I've read, you know, his Mistburn series. And then I've read um, Trust from the Emerald Sea. And then I've also read his one that's outside of the Cosmere, um, a wizard guide to, a frugal wizard's guide. And that one was super fun. It was different. You had to get Brandon's sense of humor to really, really enjoy it. I liked it. So I must like Brandon's um, humor, but excited to pick this up. Then um, I have The Arkham Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson. So there's a couple short stories in here that um, is in that list for me to read. Um, I believe um, the next ones I have to read are The Emperor's Soul and The Hope of Elantris. So I think that is what they, what this guy recommended. Um, for me to read um, after I read Elantris. And I think he also said to read Mistborn Secret History, but I'd have to look back. Um, if you do want to know, I'm, gun I'm going to link his uh, channel in the description. It is captured in words. So I'll link the video that I'm talking about um, in the description down below. But yeah, more stories by Brandon Sanderson. Then after that, I want to finish the um, trilogy by Holly Black. So the third one in the Folk Air series, I believe, um, The Queen of Nothing. So to be quite fair, I have been kind of disappointed in this series. Uh, people rave about this series, but for some reason, I've been struggling to get into it. And I don't know if it's because I was expecting something greater and I didn't get that. So I was going to marathon these, but after the second book, I decided that I was going to take a break. But I do want to finish this before the end of the year, so I will be picking this up in November to finish the series by Holly Black. In the next book I plan to rant, to read, sorry, is Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Torres. Um, first off, look at this cover. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, ugh. but this one is um, a novel with two sisters. And I think it has something to do with the book. I will just read the synopsis so that way you have a clear picture of what this is about. Generations, the Kilote family has guarded a collection of ancient and rare books. Books that let a person walk through walls or manipulate the elements. Books of magic that half-sisters Joanna and Esther have been raised to revere and protect. All magic comes with a price, though, and for years the sisters have been separated. Esther has fled to a remote base in Antarctica to escape the fate that killed her mother, and Joanne has isolated herself in their family home in Vermont, devoting her life to the study of these cherished volumes. 
But after their father dies suddenly while reading a book Joanna has never seen before, the sisters must reunite to preserve their family legacy. In the process, they'll uncover a world of magic far bigger and more dangerous than they ever imagined and all the secrets their parents kept hidden. Secrets that span centuries, um, continents, and even other libraries. So this sounds like a great adventure on some dark magic um, books with maybe some history thrown in and some, you know, family getting back together. Sisters that are not estranged, but they've just been apart. So bringing them back together, getting the relationship better than it was, and I am fully here for that. So I'm excited. The last book I plan to read this November is <laughs> another Sanderson book, but it is one of the books from this uh, year of Sanderson and it is Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. So this one, I have been holding it off. I've been wanting to read it for a while now, like really ever since it came on my doorstep. Partly because I flip through and the artwork is just immaculate. Um, but basically, I, I really only know what I've watched um, other YouTubers discuss about this book. Um, and so basically it's just, you know, um, Yumi is a priestess from another dimension or world or whatever and um painter he um like battles nightmares from my understanding well then their worlds kind of collide like she um can see through painter's eyes and painter can then see through her eyes and so they have a conflict and they have to try to fix it or whatever and then i think uh, there's a little romance in it too, which, um, is great because I'm a sucker for romance, regardless of what it is. I just, I, I love heartfelt stuff. So very excited to pick this up. This is the third book of the four secret projects from Brandon Sanderson that have released this 2023. So very excited. Um, just to show you like one of the artworks I mean first like isn't that gorgeous the illustrations were done by Aaliyah Chen so shout out to her great job great job so those are all the books that I plan to read um, this November for my November TBR. Uh, cross your fingers that I can get them done because for me, that's, uh, there. there's a lot, there's a lot there. So we'll see, but um, thanks again for hanging out with me and checking out my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember, be good people. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost Oh, I will take your hand and We'll rise up from the dust Oh